Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. Uh, at the end of the last episode we set up the farm and that seems to be working quite well and since then I've set up another one for um, nether wart. But in the process I discovered another problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at that and then see how we can fix it. So the problem is actually, let's go over here. I'll go down here. And let's have a look at the mind chemming part of this. And the one I want to look at is in here. You'll see this is rotating around, and these numbers are going down basically every two. And it's just producing titanium, which is maybe alright. And this actually, and these numbers are actually, oddly enough, I think are actually going up. And the problem is. For, I think there's a boundary condition where it doesn't empty this out. When it gets completely full with one particular chemical, it doesn't actually empty at all. So it gets stuck on doing this the whole time. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a speed upgrade into the Enderio conduit here. See if that sorts out the problem. So let's go and do that. Now there is actually one step we have to do first. We need some sand. Because what we need to do for that, we need electric steel. For electric steel, we need silicon, which is from uh, sagmilling sand. So, to get sand, what we're going to use is we're going to use mine chem again. So, what we want is another chemical synthesizer. I was looking at blood magic before, seeing how expensive that was. So, so, so expensive, just ridiculous. Um, So the chemical synthesizer is, if I can see it, there we are, like this. So we need one core, one diamond, one redstone, and this is the expensive bit. We need to need some pistons. Now there's two types of recipes for pistons. This one, which is actually a good one to use because we end up with lots of aluminium and no uses for it. So we're going to do this one. But this is ex next helio aluminium, and it's not the other one. So let's just get a stack of this. I think I'm going to make a stack of these. So aluminium is this one. I th that's tin, lead, silver. Where's aluminium gone? Here we go. Now this is the um, the wrong type of aluminium. But we'll just carry on and do that. So we need some four stacks of stone or cobalt. And we need three stacks of planks. So one stack of that will do, for, I think. We actually need 48, so let's do it like this. So now we should be able to produce some um, pistons. Oops, let's do it like this. What did we just stack of pistons? Now we should be able to use aluminium, but this one doesn't work. So let's go and convert this. Now we're going to convert this is that was brilliant, wasn't it? I forgot I've not got tinkers in but in here, so I need to take the apple. It's always good for opening doors. And in here we've got the other type of aluminium from X, X Nihilio, and that's this one. We'll take a stack of those. What we can do with these, we can use this to convert the other type of aluminium. Let's go back the quick way. And what we do, let's put them, for example, here. If you've not seen this before, those. So we can put this stack of aluminium in here. Uh, it's already locked, that's good. And then we can take the other stack of aluminium here and put that into there as well. And then it becomes converted to X and Helio. Take it out again. We've still got a stack in there, so we can convert it whenever we want to. So let's go back and make our stack of pistons. Everything moved round, of course. So now we have one stack of pistons. So then it's fairly straightforward. We want the this one, so we need this, all we need is a block of diamond. I'm going to make two at the same time because I've produced two, um, two blocks of iron, so we've got two of those. We will only produce one of this, so do we need a diamond redstone and some iron ingots. So we'll just get one of these each. If we 
picked up two diamonds, put them back, but watch for one. Yep. So now, so we're going to get and make some sand. Have I got everything I need? I will make sure I've got the conduit I want as well. I don't have any in there. I don't have any in there. Let's just go and get it from the the chest. So I've got energy conduit. I've got it with me. Look here. Actually, I don't really have enough. So I need some conductive iron. So let's get some conductive iron going. And it looks like the redstone's looking a bit low. I suspect that's not working. Might be blocked. We're going to check that as well. So for the time being, we'll take the 15 we've got there and some iron, which I think I've got with me. Yes, and we'll put those into the segment over here. Not the segment. The uh, to the alloy smelter. So we'll put we'll just put them like that, and we get the that made fairly quickly. In fact, I might already have some prepared aluminium. Oh. I've already got aluminium. I've already done that once, never mind. Let's just take these two out of here. Put those into there. That actually didn't take anything at all, did it? Or it didn't update one or the other. So, what did we want it? We wanted some uh, conductive iron, which I don't see there. Anyway. So, right. Let's go over here and quickly repair this. Strange. Usual problem getting down ladders in a small hole. I should put a block here, though, shouldn't I? If I put a block there. Step back a bit and put a block here, here, and here, then it's easy to get in. Or shall I say easier? So what we're going to do is let's have a look where I've got it here. So this is already full. But it should be producing this because that's sieving away gra uh, gravel. So that should be producing. Oh, it's moon turf, isn't it? I need to do, which of course is going to be empty because that's blocked up. Right. Okay. Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one of these here. So I'll put it, for example, I'll put this block on top of. Let's go up here like this and we'll move this a second and we'll put this other synthesizer here like that and we'll remove this cobblestone here I have to be careful actually I don't want to hit that one behind it which I could do that would make a mess so let's just do it from here like that so we need some item ducts and presumably some power what we'll do is we'll take the same thing out of here. So if we keep, what am I thinking about? What I want is this stuff. So let's move this again, because it's not exactly where I want it to be. It's probably like that. Let's put it here in front of this one. Actually, what I can do is I can put this down here like that, the item ducts, and then put the chemical um, synthesizer on top of it, can't I, like that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Actually, yes, we'll take it away. It won't do much harm, but try and get it selected this time. There we go. So now this would should, should hopefully get the same as this. So we need to put a filter on this again. I don't know if we've got one with me. Let's have a look, quick check. I don't see one in there. I don't see one in there. Never mind, we can probably uh, just take a stack of this, in fact, to start off with, can't we? Let's put those into there. She got five stacks. And the recipe for sand, if a mine coming, I think is four. So let's just have this. And I think it's like this. Oops. If you left click, you're supposed to be able to put them in, but if you don't, it doesn't always work. 
There we go. Sand. And it's got no power at the moment, so let's give it some power. There we go. So now we should be able to get should be just about powered up, nearly. So we can then get some sand. We'll take the sand out of here to start with, I think. We've got 20 stand, that'll probably be enough for what I need to start with. So we'll let that charge up. 20 sand from four stacks. Doesn't seem quite right, does it? Should have had a stack of sand in here. Ah. No, it can't have gone the wrong way. But we will get this correctly configured to go the right direction, but we do need to put a filter on here. And what we don't want is the magnets to come into here, so we basically if I right click that, it'll put it to the right direction. Let's have a look in here now, see what's happening. Nothing yet. What if I do this? If I increase the priority of this by one, that means it's going to get inserted into there before it comes into anywhere else. So this one's full, producing gravel, so that should be no big deal. That's also full, so it shouldn't produce any more. You know, I know what the problem is. I've been. I think you can only do it from the top. So what we need to do, I think it only has an input. So maybe, maybe it doesn't actually, to be honest with you, let's have a block of sun down here. So I can stand on it and get up. Let's just try it and put it on and make sure it goes to the top of this. There are some rules for this which make it look a bit strange. So I don't want that one on there, so let's turn that off. Turn that into the right direction, remove this one. That looks a bit strange, it looks like it's joining incorrectly, but I'm sure it isn't. So let's have a look what we've got in here now, if anything. Nothing yet. Which is also a bit strange. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I'll leave that sand there for the time being. We'll go back. What else did we have a problem with? We had a problem with redstone. Now the redstone's being generated here. Of course, yes. So now we've got enough sand, we should be able to sag mill the sand. Which I don't have a sag mill in here, do I? I've got an alloy, an alloy furnace, but no sag mill. Hmm. Right, let's go back to the moon base and get us the get a sag mill. Which we've got here. So we've got a sag mill, an alloy smelter, and a sag mill. Well, I don't see any reason why we can't take those two now. Oh. What I'll do is I'll stand out of the way when I hit these like this. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of um, flint, and that's full as well. What can we do with this one? Put it up there. Right. I do need a lot of flint for this as well. And what have we got here? Nothing. We can take this chest. And then we've got a diamond sorting chest, which I think I will take with us as well. So, we'll pick up that with the dolly and put the dolly in a bag so we don't get slowness. Like that. In fact, I've also got some ducks in here as well, we can remove these. And I've got some power cables there which I could fill in. I don't know what I'm doing this, let's go the fast way. Okay, let's put the sag mill down here. And we need some conduit for that. So to get power in it, it's got flint in it, so we can shove the sand in here. We should fairly quickly get some. Where's that going into? Huh. Well, actually not too bad, but uh, not quite what I wanted. But we do need electric steel. Actually, I could have left it in there, to be honest with you. Let's take a stack of coal dust. Now, electric steel is made with 
coal dust and uh, silicon. Remove this out of the way. Now we should start to get electric steel. And then we can put the rest of this stuff back in here. I don't think I need those. I seem to have picked up rather a lot. And these fuel pellets, oh, I'll have to come to those in a while. I've actually got extra fuel pellets, but they're not really extra because I took them away from the other one. We'll see why in a minute or two. And I don't want that. I'll put that in the main camp for the start for the time being. So now, fairly quickly, we should have some electric steel. I think that's actually enough. Because we want the speed upgrades. For Indaya, which is this one. So we need seven electrics. Oh, three iron and four. That's right. There's a bit of a strange recipe and a redstone torch. So we get some redstone if we've got any left. I haven't. That's a bit of a nuisance, actually. Let's need three of those. We'll take six, actually. We'll make two, two of these. And redstone, I have to go and find some redstone. Mm -hmm. we'll, go, we'll have to go outside and get some from outside. There should be plenty in here when I was filtering it last time. I'll take two stacks of that. Don't we need a redstone torch? That was all we needed, wasn't it? So we'll take make two. That's got three torches. That's fine. Good. So now we'll go back and fix that first thing. I think I might actually have to break it to actually get it to work properly. Huh. Okay. Let's do it like this then. If I'm coming from this side, actually this will do fine. Just two. Is there any in here yet? Let's have a quick check. No, nothing's coming in. It's just disabled. I have deliberately put that in the top, so it should come into here. We didn't create a filter, and I don't think I need a filter. Let's try that one again. I can't get it, can I? Oh, I'm too low down. But I have got a filter in here to filter this in. Let's just take this filter out of here. and put that into this one over here to start with. See if we can start to get some sand being produced. Still not producing any sand in here, which is really strange because this thing is working. Let me increase the priority. And have a look in here. Now we're starting to get stuff in. I wonder if it was going all the way straight into the into this barrel and getting disposed of. Okay. Now, next thing we need to fix. Where's it gone to? We need to fix this. So the way to do that is on here. I'll take one of these speed upgrades, put it into here. I should put both in. I don't think I need both actually. Now that's moving faster, but I reckon that it's not going to get rid of it. Let's see if I take it out here, see if we can actually start to clear this off. Let's take this out of, and of course it's coming in again, yes. Well, it would do. I'd have to stop it here to do that. Let's just stop it there. See if it actually starts to go down. Let's take this out of here because then it shouldn't come in. 
if it goes down while that's going while that's doing that let's put this titanium over here you see what's happening it is not going down now the way to fix this is to break it simple as that so let's do that so it's got no it's got no let's check that again double check it see there's no input here at all it's just going around the circles and i've seen this before so and so let's break it and put it back again like that and ignore those titanium for the time being they'll actually most of them will despawn i probably don't want them to despawn but it's a sort of cheaty so let's get rid of them so where's it gone to us there look in fact let's come over here put those in there i want to get rid of i want this thing let's get rid of these i should pick up eventually chemical synthesizer as long as the ones i'm just throwing away have gone over here let's put this one in the bag so it doesn't behave oddly there we go now we've got the chemical synthesizer so we can put that say here right and we can put it back again now we can actually put all of these into here now they should start to disappear If I get my magnet out again, it'll start to get attracted. As you can see, we can still carry on putting these in here, and they should these should start to go down. Let's put in a second up speed upgrade in here, just to make sure. Because I think multiple makes you go faster. Now now that's working again and it looks like it is so we can wait until we've got this completely empty which it is we'll put this this stack in here now it's actually not going to fill it up see this is sodium coming in here and it's getting it going out faster than it's coming in which is what we actually need so we can put this back again there we go and then it should be filling up again I actually think I only need one speed filter on this. We can check it. You see, this is. Oh no, it's actually building up. So let's put this back in again. Now it's going down. So two speed filters for that, and it's an, it keeps up with the the output, which is great. So that now means this should be working again because we should be getting silicon into here which we are so we are producing moon turf so the moon turf that should then be processed actually where am i sieving the moon turf that's a good question let's go back over here Is it coming in here or is it being processed? This says I've got two stacks in here now, which I actually don't believe. There's something weird going on. One stack, that's one stack 17. Oh, it's quickly, it looks like it's actually starting to work this time now. One stack, thir two stacks, thirty-seven. That's really strange. One stack, six. There seems to be something going wrong here, but I ain't sure exactly what. But let's double check it and see, just to make sure, because those numbers were jumping around like crazy, <laughs> to say the least. See, this should be moon turf in here, which it is. So it should be being processed quite happily. So, you see, the silicon's gone down to zero again. 
but everything's getting generated without being filling up, which is great. This has got in it 63, and there's one redstone just come out of there. Let's go back. See, it says two stacks and 38. So how much some space have we got in here? Let's just make some space. That should have actually ended up in the dry out one. Two sacks and 39. So let's do that. Let's take them out of here. What do we get? One stack, two stacks. So it should be reading zero because we're not getting any more. Well, one stack, 63. That's correct. So it's something weird. Now, next thing. Oh. What else was problem? What else was problematic? Let's go and have a look at the f at what I've been doing to the farm. I want to finish these off, and I don't think I've got time to do that today. See, so I finished doing the uh, purple sugar cane. If we have a look over here, you can see the pattern I've used. It's basically it's the knight's move pattern you use in chess. So it's two along and one down. Then you cover basically all the areas you want. And I also created here. Well, just a, just an ordinary farmer with a range of 81 again, which is over at the top for this. But I put in some here, some an RF engine upgrade. So you can basically take this out and it charges up in my inventory like this. If I put it back in again, you'll see it starts to harvest these like that. In fact, what I need to do to fix that, let's go and fix that first of all. Because you see what I've got here is I hadn't got enough um, interfaces. So let's go and look at that. So the interfaces for that is in this golden bag. And I've got my diamond sorting, so I'll keep that there actually. So we need a, an energy conduit interface. Simply put on there like that. And then that will automatically feed that power very quickly and it's already now full so then it can actually operate normally the next thing i want to do if you look at this one i've done the same one here this is full but it's got no hose so let's go back and produce another crafter i need a tier two crafter i'm going to use a tier two crafter from rf tools so for that i need what do we need let's have a look at the recipe for that it's redstone torches and crafting tables, basically. It's this one I want to produce, because this has four recipes in it. So we need a crafted tier one, which basically means we need a machine frame, which is four iron ingots. I think those are iron ingots. Gold nuggets. don't think we need more than that. We need four of those and we need some wood. Crafting tables is basically one for a crafting table, isn't it? So, out oh, 20. The sticks I need. We need some lapis and some gold and some iron. I didn't pick up the lapis. I think it's just two of those. So here we go. Let's start with the tier one crafter. Like that. Tier two crafter. Oh, actually, we need the tier one crafter first because I haven't done that yet. Just built the frame. And then the tier two crafter is this one. Fairly cheap recipes. So now, all we need, we've got everything we need. Probably need some wood coming into this, but we'll do that later on. Or maybe I'll do it between episodes. I should put some signs up, because I do tend to forget where I'm going to. Strangely enough, that one's easier to get into. So, right, with the crafter. I'm going to put it in the middle between these two blocks here. 
So what I'm going to do is put it one block down. So I'll do that first of all. Let's put, take a piece of cobble here. Put it one block down in the middle of these two. So like, for example, here's a good place, I reckon. And we'll put it on the top of there like that. And then I can remove this piece of cobble from there. And what we can do is we can then take out of here what we could do is, yes, I think we'll take out of here some item ducts first of all. So how many have got enough item ducts in here? Yes, I have. And I'll basically run these across across like this. If I can reach home, just too far away. Let's do it like that. I keep running these across. So they connect up. And here I'm going to have to go and do it one level lower lower below so let's have to do it like this because of the water and there'll be a bound to be a pool of water above our head somewhere so like that and then it needs power so we'll take do the same thing with the power we'll take we'll get this one uncovered here so we need this to be in configure mode that's blue reconfigure mode and we shall get out of this back here a cable interface which is this one I might just have enough conduit maybe not actually oh, I could take it one level though oops I need to shift right click this don't I have to scroll it there we are Maybe I'll come back and put the other ones in later on. See, it just saves. Actually, it saves two pieces, putting it. But you can't walk through it. So that's it. I will put it up. So now this has got power. So now we need to program the recipe. So the first thing we need to program is the recipe for the top one. So we're going to make wooden um, hose first of all. We're going to put this as external. So we'll use all of these up. So we'll put in like that and you'll see powers coming into this nicely so the recipe for wooden hose like that and then apply that then we also need sticks so the recipe for sticks which we'll keep internally is like that and apply that and then the third one of course is planks which is just like that and that goes internally and apply that so now when we put some wood into here, we should we should get some hose coming out. But maybe I need to fill this up. I haven't got anything to do. I've got some stone. I can fill it with stone. Just leaving the two slots for the two internal items, which is... Actually, I do need three slots. One for logs. Like that, and then use those all up. I should have turned it off first, or shouldn't I? Let's turn it off. Let's turn it ignored. And I run out of space, so I need to remember that. So we need a block of wood, which I haven't got with me because I've used them all up just now. So let's go and get a block of wood. It's, I'm using oak. Take a stack of those with us, and we just couldn't go back the farms that are over here. There's, that goes to the the power gen. Uh, no, the mine coming and the camp coming route haven't changed it yet. So, oops. Ah, oh, I have not the first time I've done that. Try and get something in my hand that's less use dangerous. I usually use apples. It's, it's weird how that works. Sometimes it doesn't apply and sometimes it does. So now it's turned off. We should be able to put one of those in there and then remember this settings. So then we're only getting out hose in here, so I can now quite safely put that in there and then turn it on. 
and then it's used up all of these. So we've basically got maxed out planks, and everything's maxed out there. So the only thing we need to do that after that is to give some more wood into here, which doesn't need very much wood in this, as it happens. Very few, in fact. So all we then need to do is to configure this to go out and into there. So let's do that first of all. I'm going to just do the top interface. So I'm going to remove this one. See, that's also needs to be in the right mode for that. I think it's actually the one that's got the there. So I right click that off, disable that one, and shift left click this one. Then allows me to set this up. So I want to set this up to auto extract, always active. We don't care about the channel because the only thing that's coming out of here is hose. So this has then got, let's have a look at this. It's got a hoe in there. Let's go and look at this one. It should be empty, which it is. So now when I turn this one on here, because it's always by default is extract, it should start to insert into here a hoe. It should do. That's turned on, isn't it? Double check that again. Left shift, left click, because I can't reach the thing. Extracting, always active. And this thing is... Well, it's got enough hose in there, so there's no excuse for those not to come out. Ah. Otherwise, I don't know what the problem is. The problem here is this is actually set to uh, an out an output. Let's double check it. Let's go take the PA wrench and go into query mode. So we right click this side here, or it should tell me it's set to output. And we need this basically set to normal. So we then change this to normal like that, and then right click this side. And it says now set to normal. So if we now have a look at this, we now got a hoe in here, which is fantastic. Yes, the bottom side of these is nearly always set to um, output by default. Let's go back to query mode. You see, the bottom side is always output, and the, and all the other sides are set to normal. So we basically just need to turn this one around, and this will also get hose as needed. And as you can see, I'm picking up sugar cane. It's because it's getting chopped down and left there. And there's a chicken. How on the earth did that chicken get there? So, these should be chopped down. I'm not sure if there's enough space in here for the... Oh, yeah, it's chopping them down slowly. In here yet for the... Let's try and get down here. In this farm, we'll sort that out next time. Basically, we'll need some, some way to set this. Let me just take this one. Yes, you see, it's, it's got 15, 16, so it's actually working nicely. We don't need too much anyway. And here, I was trying a transmat, another transmat place, to see whether or not I could actually cycle between the three. And I don't think you can, so that was a shame. You have to go to reconfigure mode to do that, like this. And you can then say, OK, that's configured to this one, default location, and this one, I think. So if we go back to transmat... Aha, uh -huh, we were already there, so... Oops, wrong way. So I'd have to set this one back again here to get this to work properly. So you can only have one. I was hoping you'd be able to cycle through all three. Anyway, a bit longer than normal. Next time I'm going to do some more um, nutrient generation, I think. That's the goal. And there's three steps in that. First of all, we need some sugar or leather wart, and then some type of flesh. So it can be an animal flesh. I think it can be rotting flesh as well in the vat, and that should produce nutrients. And that's the fuel that we need to power the Killer Joe. So that's the goal of this project. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.